Welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled Essentials of Engineering Change Management with SAP PLM 7.01. During today's webinar, we will discuss and demonstrate SAP's new engineering change management capabilities that are available with the release of SAP PLM 7.01. We are grateful to SAP for participating in our, web in our webinar today. My name is Ralph Davis. I'm pinch hitting for Alan Mendel today. I'm the business development manager for LeverX, and I'll be our moderator for today's webinar. First, let me introduce you to LeverX. LeverX is an SAP services provider, an SAP business objects solution partner, associate member of the PLM Alliance, and a Google Enterprise partner. LeverX assists companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. Hello, folks, and welcome to the webinar. Um, my name is Pete Demchenko. I'm the PLM practice lead for SAP um, in the Americas. Um, also with us today, we have uh, Pavan Kasulavada, who's a principal PLM consultant, who will be speaking about the engineering change management functionality that's now available in um, 701. Pavan is a very experienced consultant who works on um, the Bombardier project. Also, Shobit Shengel, who is um, a LeverX consultant. We work closely with Shobit and the LeverX team as part of the PLM Alliance in lots of uh, PLM areas for SAP. And then Pramod Shankar, who did most of the work on the presentation. He's a developer who works with us and um, hopefully soon to be a consultant. And uh, Pram um, Pramod will be able to address um, your development questions. And this is the first webinar in a series. The second one will be more done by Promote, where we'll be talking about the enhancement possibilities and all the great things you can do to extend the engineering change record. So if you can flip the slide, Pavan. Um, this is, of course, the legal disclaimer that um, we have to show first from our legal attorneys. And you could pass that by. And next is, uh, why are companies looking to do this? And why do they want to use, what are the problems that companies are facing? One is uh, disconnected business processes. Because of the different systems that companies use and the different strategies like CAT-centric PLM, ERP-centric PLM, how do we link these together? How do the processes flow across these different systems? Thank you, Pete. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, we talk why engineering change record. Engineering change record is one of the critical uh, objects within our product uh, data management. The new engineering change record will help us to monitor and document product changes. It also helps to have planned data versus the implementing changes with the different effective options, like you can have date, date effectivity or parameter effectivity options. You can also store uh, multiple statuses for a particular object. And uh, engineering change record it's within itself contains change numbers through which you can have release keys and your changes can be uh, opted at uh, production planning or sales, etc. The other thing is that you can also group the changes together using the group or assigning different objects to a single change number or to multiple change numbers. So the first of all, let's talk about the uh, work center for a change record. When you go into the PLM API, the new concept is the work center. Uh, it's a web-based tool. And within this work center, you can see the search functionality. If you just go to the uh, so change record work center, then you can, you can search the engineering change records. You can also see the work list. You can also build your own work list. And also, it shows lot, uh, lost access uh, work items and your favorites, etc. And the other thing is that you can also configure the URLs like search and the work list. You can just query what are the uh, uh, data you will be working on. So 
So these are some of the uh, initial screen of a particular PLM that you are. Uh, thanks, Pete. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you are. Uh, my name is uh, Shobit Singhal. I'm a PLM consultant with Leverex. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, uh, about engineering change management in the uh, 7.01 uh, system. And I'm going to do a little bit of the, of the system demo. Uh, the first thing, uh, so that what you see on my screen is um, is my uh, is my logon. Uh, this is uh, this is my homepage, um, you know, uh, control center or work center in uh, in kind of SAP speak. Uh, the first thing you will notice here is um, is uh, is the revamped SAP GUI. Uh, this is something we call the SAP Business Client, and you can notice that I'm using this in my uh, Internet Explorer. Um, there's also a native um, uh, SAP Business Client available that you can install on your uh, on your machines. Um, uh, they both kind of work uh, in similar, uh, you know, very similar look and feel. Uh, pretty pretty much uh, even speed throughout. Uh, I personally like to use this in my Internet Explorer, um, but you know, it's uh, it's both the same look and feel. A um, little bit of uh, so I'm going to try and explain what you're looking at. So this is uh, this is my home page again. On the left hand side and on the top here you will see um, that I have all my all my transactions here so so this GUI is not transaction based it's more um, it's more link based more URL based um, and it uh, it kind of it pulls in all the authorization so if I don't have access to uh, let's say so if I just drill down here if I don't have access to change bills of materials or create bills of materials I will not see that transaction here right so um, um, and similarly, on the in the middle of the screen, you would see uh, five different sections that I have collapsed, and I'm going to open them um, one by one. Uh, you can see the first is the work environment, which kind of lets you control um, what you would like to see in your home page. Um, so if you would like to see objects belonging to a particular change number or to, to a particular plant, you can do that. Um, this is where you would uh, set that up. The next is uh, search. So you can see it's kind of a Google uh, Google type search, so I can do... Uh, I can just put in, you know, some text uh, that I would like to search for, and I can pick, uh, you know, all objects and only materials or documents or whatever. And when I do, uh, uh, when I execute the search, I'm going to see search across objects. So I can see that uh, uh, anywhere this uh, this word that I search for appears in the object. Could be the description, could be the uh, could be the uh, original files embedded in the documents, you know, uh, anywhere. So you can see in the results, I see the first is the material, 